Hi YouTube, I'm Ali, welcome to the channel and to this short series on re-engaging with painting miniatures. If you enjoy the vid, please take a minute out to like and subscribe as it would really help the channel out. In the last episode, I chose three metal minis from my Citadel miniature collection, which I'm gonna use as my test subjects for getting back into the hobby. In this episode, I'll be starting that journey by cleaning off the old paint from the minis, and I'm gonna be doing that by using a cellulose thinner, as recommended by pretty much everyone on the internet. Now this stuff is pretty nasty, so I'm taking a few precautions, and I'm working with the window open. So, what do I need to do this? Well, obviously I'm gonna need some thinner. I chose a random brand, uh, and you should be able to get some from any DIY or hardware store. I'm lazy and I got mine from Amazon. I'm gonna put down some paper uh, to protect my table, so just uh, use paper or brown Amazon wrapping paper, in fact, as this is. Uh, but I'll be doing most of my cutting on a cut-proof mat. This is a cheap Chinese one I got for a couple of pounds. Um, I'm also gonna be wearing these rather sinister black disposable gloves to protect my little hands. Uh, and I'm gonna be using a toothbrush to scrub the models should I need to. Uh, I used an electric toothbrush, so this looks a little weird. I'm also gonna use an airtight jar uh, to keep the old cellulose thinner in before I get rid of it. You're not supposed to pour this stuff straight down the sink. So I've got myself like one of these um, mason or kilner jars. Um, it's airtight and I'm actually gonna use the lid of it. Uh, there we go, I'm gonna use the lid of it uh, to actually do the, 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 the cleaning in. And finally, I've got some paper towels uh, on a roll, rather fetching roll, uh, to be able to uh, basically dry everything afterwards. Okay, with that all said and done, let's set up and get on with this thing. Okay, so I've laid everything out. So uh, you can see the uh, lid of the jar. I put a little square of kitchen roll in there as well, um, just really to protect the mini uh, from the glass bottom. Uh, I'm pouring in the cellulose. Uh, I poured in enough, uh, really just to sort of partly submerge the miniature. Uh, and then um, the exciting bit, which was basically putting the miniature in, taking the toothbrush and then gently, I say gently, actually I got quite vigorous, but basically that rubbing action is what I did for the next uh, sort of 10, 15 minutes. Um, it, I did get a little panicked in the first minute because not much was happening. Um, but when I switched it over, you can see that the, the base slot, which was painted blue, very quickly gave up its color. So here I am about uh, six minutes in. Uh, you can see most of the paint's come off now. Just continue scrubbing. Two quick things to note. Uh, I did have to swap out the thinner halfway through. So I poured out the old contents into the jar and topped it up with some fresh stuff. And I think I had to change my gloves a couple of times. Just that scrubbing action <laughs> completely ruined the gloves. So I had to do that three or four times. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead to the finished product, I think, uh, because quite frankly, this is a bit dull to watch. Um, I literally did this with each of the mini miniatures in turn, uh, spending about 10, 15 minutes on each miniature. Uh, so let me just skip, skip to the end now. So here's the end result, all three miniatures, uh, stripped of paint. Goblin first, well I say stripped of paint, more or less stripped of paint. There's still a little bit of residue. I'm hoping a little bit of warm water and uh, warm soaking water will get rid of that. Here's the target here. Uh, still a little bit of mini putt on their bases there. And here's the dark elf. Uh, but yeah, all three uh, pretty much stripped of paint. So apart from a little mess, that was pretty straightforward. I've now got some paint-free minis. Um, the next step for me will be to scrape these clean using a sharp knife, which I shall crack on with. Catch me in the next episode if you can. Uh, if you haven't already, please do uh, like and subscribe to this video. Uh, but until next time, take care. Danger, highly flammable liquid and vapor may cause an allergic skin reaction, causes serious eye damage, may cause respiratory irritation, Suspected of causing cancer?